Hi, I'm Caleb Horst with CellScale Biomaterials. Welcome here to this demonstration of using the Biotester Biaxial Test Device with sutures. Today I've taken some sutures. Uh, in this case, they are 5.0 Monosoft sutures with an SS24 needle. You can see the packaging there, but it could be any suture with a, a small spatula needle. And what I've done is, is I've paired them together and I've bent the needles into a hook. I'm trying to get these stationary for you to see here. And tied these pairs together with a knot so that these pairs can be looped over a pulley. I need eight pairs, a total of 16 noodle, uh, needles to mount my specimen because there's four on each side of the specimen. Once we've got this set up, and in this case I have a, a spare piece of rubber that I'm using as my, my surrogate for my, my sample, um, and it's cut to about 16 millimeters square, 15 millimeters square maybe. And I'm going to place the uh, or hook through the sutures along each side of that, uh, or each side of that specimen. So I'll just come in here hook the, the suture through there, go to the other next one over, hook that through there, grab the next pair, As you can see, I've now got the 16 suture needles put through the specimen, and the next thing I'm going to do is take the specimen over to the biotester. On the biotester, where I would often be mounting the bio rakes, uh, using that magnetic mount uh, also available with the biotester are these suture brackets. And what they have is a, is a central pivot, and around that central pivot, there's two pivoting pulleys. And if I hook my suture loops over those pulleys, I can achieve a force balance on those four suture lines during the test. So this is a little bit tricky, but I'll, I'll bring over my specimen and I'll start by hooking the suture lines on the left side over these pulleys, like so. And then I'll go over to the right side, or sorry, the left side, and I'll do the same. like so. I'll leave those for now and I'll go on and do the y-axis and come back and fix that at the end. Um, I'll start here on the near side to me actually and I'll loop those suture lines over those pulleys on, on this side. Oops, I'll lose that one. Like so and then I'll go to the far side Just one more. Now that we've got the specimen mounted, we're going to go over to the computer here and we can see on screen that we do have the specimen showing up in the middle of the screen and this test is ready to run. In this case I've specified a test that has a ramp of three millinewtons or three millimeters rather in uh, five seconds and just repeating that three times. So I'm going to execute this test and what we'll see on the right hand side of the screen is the force versus displacement curve. In this case we're going up to just under 3 newtons of force with our 3 millimeters of displacement. Uh, it's an isotropic material so there isn't a lot of difference between X and Y and there's a little bit of a hysteresis loop but it's, uh, it's pretty flat. This test is going to run out here, you can see the live video feedback as well while the test is being collected and all this data is being written to my hard drive for later analysis. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this quick demonstration video. If you have any questions about the suture mounting or the biotester in general or really any of CellScale's products, please feel free to send me an email uh, using the link at the end of this video and I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.